Hi everybody, it is WW Love and Mama, shall we? And this video is going to be about how to conquer summer 2022 at Walt Disney World. I guess this will could some of this could apply to future summers as well. Our summer, although it is June, has not started yet. We are still in school for another week. So when I'm recording this, so I just wanted to get this out as soon as possible. I'm hoping this week. Okay, number one sunscreen 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 please wear the sunscreen and if you have a part don't forget about getting the part i always forget about getting the part in some way shape or form and that is where i will have a burn line the whole way down the part of my hair so sunscreen hydrate now we usually order because we fly down a case of water or two from Garden Grocer, Instacart, Amazon Prime, and have it delivered to our resort. You can also bring a refillable water bottle and maybe like a couple hydrating packs like for Gatorade, or even if you don't want like that, like lemonade, iced tea, crystal light, something because the water in Florida tastes funky. Late lunches and early dinners to get a break from the heat. I highly recommend this. I love the late lunch, early dinner, two to three o'clock, we're going to say, which is probably could be a really early dinner for people. But not only are those times easier to get with dining reservations, they are also the heat of the day. That is the hottest part of the day. And it tends, parks tend to be a little busy. If you've rope dropped that morning, you've been going, 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 and you need a break, and it is nice just to sit down in a table service restaurant in the air conditioning and have a cocktail maybe, and have a great meal. Now, for Guardians of the Galaxy, this one is just as specific for summer 2022, could be for the future, I don't know, I don't have my crystal ball today, for Guardians of the Galaxy, which is the newest ride, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind in Epcot, there are only currently two ways to ride this ride. One is getting in a virtual queue. You could have three ways if you're staying at a deluxe resort. But the two virtual queue times are 7 a.m. and then 1 p.m. So you cannot park hop to this resort because park hopping does not start until 2. You can park hop to the resort, but just follow me. So if park hopping does not start until two o'clock, you cannot obtain a Guardians of the Galaxy virtual queue because it begins at one. So 7 a.m. and one o'clock, like I said, if you're staying at a deluxe resort, you also have six o'clock for extended evening hour nights in Epcot. So that you have three times you can get a virtual queue. Your second way to, uh, to ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is to just purchase at 7 a.m. on your park day that you're going to Epcot, an individual attraction selection. And that is currently $14 per person. And that will give you, you know, a guarantee that you will be riding Guardians of the Galaxy. Attractions to beat the heat. Okay. So in each of the parks, there are some great attractions where you can go in in the afternoon to just relax and enjoy and then you're out of the heat. In the Magic Kingdom, you have Mickey's Philhar Magic, the Tiki Room, Country Bear Jamboree, Carousel of Progress, and Hall of Presidents. In Animal Kingdom, Tough to Be a Bug, Festival of the Lion King, and the newly, I'm gonna say refurbished, opened, Nemo the Musical, Finding Nemo, The Big Blue, and Beyond. In Hollywood Studios, for the first time in forever, the Frozen Sing Along, the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular and Beauty and the Beast. Now, Indiana Jones and Beauty and the Beast are not inside. They are covered. There are giant fans that blow on you as well. So it will be loud in there, the fans and the people and the show. And they are not as cool a place. They are not as a cool place to relax as the other shows can be but you're still sitting, you're still in the shade, you're still enjoying a show, so there is that. Epcot, you have France, Beauty and the Beast Sing Along. In the American Pavilion, you have the American Adventure and Voices of Liberty. 
the Nima ride in the Seas Pavilion, Spaceship Earth, and the Three Caballeros ride in the Mexico Pavilion. So those are great places to just go in. It's usually dark, air conditioned, and it's just a nice break from the heat. All right, for packing, I highly recommend if you are going during the summer to bring a cooling towel. You can purchase them at Target. You can purchase them at Walmart. Uh, do not purchase them at the dollar store. <laughs> people say they're great and people use them, but I find them not to be as efficient. Uh, we have ones we upgraded and bought them. They were $15 each at Target. And we got our money's worth out of them last August. And when we go this August, we're taking them again. Also, a fan, a portable fan. Disney does make the big ones with the fan and the water that you can spray, but those are a cost. So you might want to bring your own little portable fan. And I know people who swear by the neck fans with the little propeller fans right here as well. Bring your rain gear, your raincoat, your ponchos, and your sh rain shoes if you have waterproof shoes. Now what we tend to do is we bring two pairs of sneakers and one pair of flip-flops. Not with us into the parks. So if it, we do get caught in a torrential downpour, which in the summer in Florida it tends to happen every day, not for long, maybe 15 minutes, maybe max hour, but not very long. It usually is not the whole day unless it's like a hurricane, right, or a tropical storm. So for shoes, we bring two pairs of sneakers, one to wear one day, one to wear the next day, so the other ones can get a break and dry out. And then if I know that it's really going to like really rain that day, then we all will bring in our flip-flops and wear them while it rains. And I always, we bring them for Cali River Rapids anyway in Animal Kingdom, but that's another, you know, tip for another day. And so bring your rain gear hat to block the sun, whether you want one with the brim, whether you want a ball cap, but something to help you with the sun as well as sunglasses. Sunglasses are extremely important at Walt Disney World as well because the sun is so stinking bright. And as a northerner, where I live, it is gray, I feel, for 11 months out of the year. We, you know, you're not used to the sun like it is, and it is really, really bright. So definitely bring your sunglasses and a hat. So those are my summer 2022 tips. If you have any tips, let me know. Comment down below. It is not too late to book for summer 2022. There are still lots of great discounts and lots of great availability when it comes to the resorts. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.